Good afternoon. We're back in Cine Central at Central Hall, but we're at the center of cinematic innovation, and this is no exception. I'm here with the owner and CEO of Adamus, Jeremy Young. How are you? I'm fantastic. It's great to be back in Vegas. Back in Vegas and back in your title position. Yeah, correct. correct. I was away for a couple of years, had a bit of a break, but um, was developing some amazing products, and I was thinking about a new startup or come back, and then I no, I've got to come back. Yeah, you got this is your baby, right? It is, it is, it is. Yeah, so it is. talking about new products, new releases, what what do you got here? What's what do you got going so, on? So obviously, there's a huge kind of groundswell of the creator economy, they call it. You know, all these people filming and and doing it for themselves, doing it for social media, doing it for lots of different reasons that aren't connected to kind of this NAB world and haven't traditionally been so. So there's been this kind of this gap between. So we've built a bridge between the two worlds of professional video, cinema, broadcast, and that social media area with our new product called the Ninja Phone. And at the same time, we've been really focused on HDR production because we just love the images. But when you go, when the sun's out, HDR's great at nighttime, you know, the candle in the corner always looks fantastic. But once the clouds come over in, in daytime or you're in a studio, the lighting doesn't really match HDR and we've released something that will solve that problem. Oh really? Okay, yes. I think we can get right into it because you never know when it's live what if I never tussle. I want to make sure we get this on camera. Okay, so let's, can get you it, do... let's get it going. Yes. So, so the first thing, I'll just take the Ninja phone, it's right here. So what it does is it takes HDMI in like our normal Ninjas and it encodes to ProRes while taking the microphone wireless input locking them video and audio out HDMI into the iPhone. So you stick it on the back of your iPhone, there's an Atomus case that comes with it, and then you come into the phone and it then unlocks the OLED panel on, on your iPhone, 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, 1600 nits, P3 color, 441 PPI, and it's just like an amazing solution. But at the same time, we've done ProRes in, because we're the ProRes kings, right? We propagated ProRes on top of Japanese cameras when they never did ProRes before. And still, 99% of them don't do ProRes. So your ninjas and your shoguns are fantastic. But there's this creative people coming up that I just mentioned. And so what this does is, no matter whether they're using like the Fuji X100 Mark VI, which is a huge camera at the moment, or they're using a, a Nikon Z8, or right up to a RED camera and a Venice, they can stick this on top and record ProRes on the phone while it decodes to the screen, as well as it, because of the A17 processor in the iPhone, it re-encodes it to H.265 10-bit HDR and stores it on the phone as well and sends it to any social media platform. This is incredible. And I have to speak and shout out to the content creators th themselves because it's for the first time as well, they're spotlighting creators at the Creator Lab. So yeah. you're talking about that bridge and what a wonderful solution that you have. Yeah, so you pull out your phone in your pocket. Mm -hmm. We've got locking connectors that go in to make sure it's always nice and stable. Um, and it's only 399 So any of those kind of people, so I, I call them the that, that those new creators that are coming in, they go to a camera, they look at they look at other people's work, they go, what are you using? Oh, it's a Sony with a big lens. So they go and do it, and then they have to become a camera operator, which we all know yeah. is a whole thing. So this keeps them in the phone. It controls the camera from the screen, so you never have to really touch your camera. You stay in your phone, and I think that can bridge them into our awesome pro video cinema world. Oh my gosh. And by the way, thank you for the excitement as well. That's how oh, it should it. be. It's yeah, like yeah. so awesome. I have to ask, what is this for okay, now? Okay, so this <laughs> is called the Sun Dragon. I'll swap this? you. Yeah, so we actually, in our monitors, we have all these really accurate LEDs. And I noticed that they weren't being used in lighting. And then lots of companies are racing to the bottom on lighting because they're all making the same stuff, right? Panel lights, panel lights, panel lights. But as I said, in HDR, panel light floods the scene with light, which limits the brightness range, which is dynamic range. People say HDR, it means brightness range. Our eyes can see a lot of brightness, but the screens never showed it. And the lighting, when you get inside to a studio or in the outside when the sun goes away, when you flood it, there's no HDR. So what these do, they're a strip panel light that's perfect color representation, 99% of the sun spectrum. We call them the Sun Dragon. I love that name. Because it's Year of the Dragon. And yeah, your name and my is last Sun. name is Sun, yeah. <laughs> so it's a great combination. <laughs> yes. And what, what it does is you can put it anywhere. You don't flood the scene. It's 2,000 lumens end to end. It's 99% sun spectrum. And it's a TLCI for television of 98%. So you can trust these lights. They're waterproof, dustproof. 
and you, I mean, it's a revolution waiting to happen. You can see in the bike behind me that they're all put in any shape. Plus, you can curl it up and it becomes a panel light if you do want to use one. Oh my gosh, so how do we plug this in though? So this just goes um, to the AC okay. and all of this is wireless receiving controlled from either a Ninja, an iPad or any other panel that a DMX control for the professional light. So it's great for our core Ninja customer, which are the workhorses of video, event videography, weddings, funerals, all this kind of stuff. And with those, you just place them, control them from the Ninja, brightness, a bit of color. But for the gaffers in cinema, they need finite control. Any hue on the wheel, and they're RGB AW, which means amber and white put together. So it's like the latest and greatest, a lot of Atomus tech inside, and they've been very popular to search. So go to atomus.com and check it out. Amazing. Well, Jeremy, my last question for you then is, what does it mean to be back at NAV show? What, why, why, why come to a show like NAV? Well, first of all, it's called a show. Yes. So I like putting on a show. So that's the and first you do thing. always at your booth, by thank the way. Thank you, thank you. Um, I think it just is that there's not many people at home in your friend circle that you can talk about nits and screens and, and recording and all this stuff. But when you get here, Everybody knows what you're talking about. So it's a real community. Um, you know, people think it's dying. I don't think it's dying. I think it's getting stronger, especially if we can bring those young ones up into this arena, then NAB becomes super important. We, we, we're an Australian company, so traveling to America is, you know, a big effort. So when we come here, we want to make sure that we make, make hay, as they say. Um, so we always go large at NAB and look, it always comes off in sales for us because we get to educate and Americans love new innovation. So we love coming here. Oh, well, thank you. We love you for coming here. Thank, thank you, you for the time. Thank you for being on NAB show.